Hi friends, host Eric here with Katie. The uh what? you don't really have a title, do you, Katie? <laughs> no. I'm the girl who's like off screen like this Got like one eyeball on the screen. Giggles. Oh yeah, you're giggles, of course. I've heard you giggle one time before. Um also, you're the lucky winner of the Go Live With Hotel contest. <laughs> so yeah, the channel, we had a Go Live With Hotel contest, and she won, and that's why she's living in the now. Courtney, you had your chance. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and, and Courtney only had a chance to visit. Oh, yeah. Just to she only had a chance to be. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I want to talk in this video about extrovert thinking and what it means and how it relates to the other functions. And specifically, I'm going to use as a metaphor for this talking to Spanish people. So I want you to think of talking to Spanish people as like a company quality say it was, and then think about that company as being an ENTP. So, in other words, the personnel in the company reflect the ENTP personality type. There's me at the top of the company who's extroverted intuition for her. Alright, so you start right there. But now let's talk about the TE component before we go any further in that line of reasoning. TE, good TE, is about being attentive to how the space around you serves the... How it's utilized? Well, it serves the handling of things. So, for example, I showed good TE this morning when before I did anything else, I cut the bushes back that were, I kept, you know, that constrained my ability to move things down the path. And I showed good TE to the extent that I uh, move shit out of the way before I move other stuff, you know? Um, another example of good TE was the way I opened the gate and made it stay open today. Rather than propping it open with something that I kept tripping over, I made a little wire gate ground. It works great. I've been I've been on a wire trip today. I've been using wire to do a little shit. And, I, and the reason that's good to eat is because if I don't do the wire uh, gate grab thing, then I pay every time I pass through the gate by kicking the, the thing I'm using to prop it up. Open. So really, if you think about it, it's a time saver, but more importantly, it's a gumption saver. So the manner of attention called TE is about making sure your efforts, you, you get maximal impact from your efforts and minimal psychic discomfort from your efforts or physical discomfort as well. But that, again, it's about being aware of how tasks and work evolves over time and relates to the space. So there's a book I read when I was a kid, the source of book called The Magic of Recluse by L.E. Modisette. And the principal notion of the book is that there are two kinds of magic, order and, and chaos. And the order magic people, they live in this island called Recluse. But it's not even hardly magic, really. It's just they learn how to be orderly people. And the guy, the main character in this book, is a woodworker. When he goes to travel across, off the island, he goes to the land of chaos, or land where chaos magic is practiced, and he goes to work for a woodworker in, in the town where he goes to. And he's already way better than the guy he's working for, but the nature of, of um, age-based hierarchy and such make it that he... He's working for the other guy, but it, he, the, the author spends a good long time discussing how, before he does anything, the main character goes through the workspace, cleans it all up, sharpens all the tools, puts them all away in orderly spots, 
prepares the benches to have work done upon them and just generally make sure that when he does begin work, he's able to work purposely without having to go through that. Oh, but before I do that, I really should do blah, 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 blah. So right now, I'm making a serious concerted effort to get a start over, which is, I'm not gonna go, oh shit, we need to get this done right now. And then focus on that. I'm gonna say, no, I'm going to the beginning. We're processing everything from the top down, and we are gonna rebuild from scratch a a TE environment that that is to say an environment that makes other kinds of effort and work um, SE stuff the execution of things already decided easier faster less painful because the environment doesn't get in your way um, the same is true for certain kinds of techniques techniques of lifting or such if you know you're gonna be sore later you can minimize those problems by taking precautions now. That's good to eat. For example, putting on gloves before I move the bricks. That's good to eat. Not putting on gloves before I move the bricks. It's stupid fucking to eat because my hands are all like scratched up and stuff. Alright, so if you look at the talking with many people um, company, we've got plenty of any at the top to fill all the any need we need. Then we've got TI, we got Taylor and Susie, who both have very strong to eat, TI, and um, then they, they both contribute NE as well, Taylor more so than Susie, but uh, yeah, so there you go. So I got plenty of NE at the top, they bring the TI constraint to the NE in the second slot. Third slot, well, who brings the FE? Me, I guess? Taylor? Um, Nick? Nick brings the FE? Nick brings it. Nick, Nick brings a serious FE. Liz brings FE in the dominant slot. It's a little different. I mean, Nick, Nick's FE is, is very compatible with the channels. It's third slot FE. It's a little fakey seeming, but whatever. What, do you, what were you going to say about Nick? Nick, I said FE, yeah. He likes to smooth. Or yeah, he does. He smooths people. And, and But, you know, it's, it's, it's almost authentic. That's all you can say about it. It's as authentic as he can be. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so then the SI, well, now let's look at the channel, what do we got here? We've got plenty of any in the channel, over 3,000 videos. We've got excellent TI on the physical level, not on the metaphysical level. That is to say, I've got excellent consistency, logical consistency within any video, but I, if you look at across videos, I say, well, here you said this and here you said this. And I say, well, I've changed my mind since then. It has poor consistency across videos but good consistency with end videos. So we're looking at an any DOM with an any metaphysical aspect and a TI tool function that's a, that's a TI physical aspect that refers consistency with end nodes but doesn't, it's the absolute value and the consistency across nodes is just an instrumental value. Um, and then for FE, well, we see active but not very purposed FE. In other words, it's it's FE that's designed to make to to manage people's perceptions about me primarily, rather than to make people feel good about themselves. So in that sense, it's active FE rather than reactive FE, you might say. But it's also uh, I probably try to do the reactive FE. Now. Yeah, well, you know, as an FI dom, you have fifth slot FE, which means it's ignoring. You don't tend to worry too much about how others are perceiving you. You just want to make sure you're not, like, making mistakes, quote-unquote. And so, I mean, you all, the other thing you use FE for is to, to gauge people's motivations. So you can tell, you know, you ignore FE, you think it's probably an FI thing, it's really ignored FE. You can tell when somebody's not motivated well. I'm more in reach of people's FI. I'm after that. Right. Make their FI feel good. Or I can make it feel really, really bad, but I don't really do that. I don't like to do that. Well, I mean, the thing is, FI is, I value you. So, like, if you're experiencing FI about 
about others, you're valuing them and you're hoping to convey that to them so that they feel valued, which is going to make them feel good as well. Um, F5 is about knowing what it is that you, that's important to you, what you like, what's meaningful to you, what, what's not meaningful, what, what you can, what's fine to put up with, what's not fine to put up with, blah, 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 stuff like that. It's clarity, but what do you see in talking to many people? A complete lack of FI. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know what I want to talk about. I don't know what I like to talk about. I don't know what kind of video I like to make. I don't know blah, 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 blah. I like to try them all. And so, there's your, where, who provides the FI around here? Well, various FI users, Katie, for example, bring FI to the party, but they don't really, but it's, they keep it, they mostly just, that's for their own purposes, it's not for mine, because it's about how they value the experience, it's not about how the experience gains from them. Yeah. See, but for me, like, the way I value an experience depends a lot on somebody else's well, yeah. attitude and stuff like that. So, yeah. you value the experience more, Katie, when I tell you this, Katie? <laughs> you, you know, this whole time, every time I've been saying it, when I say, you are my favorite viewer. I've been talking to you. I have been talking just to you. Does that make you feel more FI? Yes. <laughs> and I hate it too because I know what you're doing. Uh, I really, actually, I mean, look, the thing about it is it's easy for me to do that, Katie, because I have genuine fondness for you. You know, it's not like it's not like I'm just trying to lie to you or something. But um, Regardless, that's not the point. The FI, from, from the company perspective, the company has no FI because it doesn't really have a mission statement because it doesn't really know what it wants to make. It's like, my, it's like talking with many people, well, what do you do there? What do you make? Uh, and if it were like a uh, manufacturer, it would be like, oh, chairs and electronics and roses. We grow roses and we breed animals and we sell uh, psychology services. And they're like, what? Why do you have all these different things? What's the identity of your company? Well, what's the identity of talking with people? It's Seven Slot FI. Eric doesn't know what the fuck he likes. He likes to do lots of stuff. Like lots of yeah, and lots of cha. And, and he likes to do narr videos with narration over them. He likes to do videos like this in the car. He likes to do videos. Because I don't know what I really like. I like to do something that's new, I guess. Or something I haven't tried in a while. Or something that seems fun at the moment. So how does that relate to the company and the cognitive function thing? Well, let's go on to SI. Who's SI in this shit? SI is terrible around here. Are videos bored out the playlist? Well, the playlist? yeah, but they're- Where the hell is that at my box this day? Is that SI for you is yeah. uh, sixth. Six. SI for you is sixth, which means it's not valued, but you're pretty good at it. When you bring, when you apply yourself. What the hell is it? Well, it's like the shit that you see me and to a lesser extent today, Kimberly doing, but she saw her doing it yesterday. This thing where you like, walk through the house and she's constantly picking up like, if she sees something she'll pick it up and put it in the hamper and blah 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 blah. She's not making any decisions about anything, but she's executing, she's using, using SE in the moment to execute shit that relates directly to her own feeling good. In other words, her own little nest, keeping it tidy, her own whatever. Starting the bath, you know, starting some food, putting food in the oven, getting you a drink, blah, 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 all that stuff. Because okay. once she determines she's you're, you're part of her self, then that SI gets extended to you. So it's like because you're living there, she'll probably hand you food and hand you drinks and stuff eventually. She'll just start doing it. She just does it. And, and that's what SI is. It just does it. It does what you know already is going to feel good and be comfortable and help help take care of yourself. It's the prioritization of taking care of yourself um, to make sure that you you feel good and you continue to feel good. So, from a metaphysical, that's more of the physical aspect of, F, of, of SI. The metaphysical aspect of SI is about keeping track of shit. So, <laughs> if for every, and organizing it and making it, rendering it into useful knowledge rather than just um, effort, like like artifacts of effort versus useful knowledge. 
SI turns something into knowledge. So SI takes a while to process things. And talking with people, videos are popping up all over the place. SI can't keep up at all. And so there's shit sort of organized in the playlist, but even if they were, even if it were, how can you organize such a hugely diverse bunch of content under one channel and what? Yeah, I can do that shit. I just hate it. Yeah, that's right. Well, you do hate it because you're six function SI. Anyway, so that's, we're looking at the conscious stack of, of Eric. We're looking at, the, at talking to family people representing exactly that. Shitless any, really good physical aspect of TI, consistency within a video or consistency within a node or consistency within an idea block, but pretty poor or mediocre anyway, metaphysical TI, that is to say consistency across nodes. And then you see the FE aspect of it. Well, it's it's tertiary um, metaphysical FE that is prioritizing not your feelings but your perceptions. And I think the physical physical aspect of FE is more concerned with your feelings. Metaphysical aspect of FE kind of bypasses that and just says, "I'm concerned about your perceptions." And that, and I think the reason why third slot treats it so much like that is because I can't really understand what your feelings are, but I can read when I've successfully managed your perceptions. So, it's like a it's like a way for me to do FE without understanding FI very well. The, the channel is very much the same thing. Okay, now let's go to the back end of the stack. So, who is providing the much needed TE around here? No, I'm sorry, NI. Who's provided the NI around here? You. Nobody's providing the NI around here. I mean, we're all providing it, but there's too much NI, and then you start getting into the NE. And the NI basically is saying, which of these ideas is singularly good? Well, the problem is, NI accounts for for how a system interacts with something over time. Are you looking for a lighter? Yeah. Are you looking for a fire map, gas flames, or dealer's truth? Well, I was looking for I think it's under your butt. The pink your pipe? little pink lighter. Yeah. No. Then you went to pick it up and put it in your pocket. Going there. I've been sitting here the whole time. Here. Ah, damn. It's lit. No, it's lit. Grab one of the cigarettes. Yeah. Nice. We'll get a pack here in a second. Oh my god, like everyone. Okay, so. Oh, right, make a video. Uh, the. Uh, Fire map gets flames of the truth notwithstanding. Um, T E. No, N I. N -I. Well, the, how coming up with a singular good idea is great, but then you have to execute the idea over time consistently. You have to use good SE to implement the, same, the idea that you came up with consistently over time or else it won't realize its NI potential. Not every NI truth is like, uh, is like, oh my God, that's genius. And it does all the work itself just by being genius. Some of them do, but mostly not. Today. That's my fifth, it's my ignoring. So, but it doesn't mean you're not good at it. You're good at your ignoring one. Because I like- I would say Taylor's good at that shit. Taylor's good at it, I'm good at it too, but we, I don't know if Taylor may remember it more than me. Uh, but I tend to forget to check my NI, as they say. Uh, what's an example of good NI? The name Talking With Famous People. It's a great name for a YouTube channel. Yes, fabulous. It's good Best NI. Ever. Thanks. Um, but as a general rule, we're not prioritizing NI around here because we're prioritizing NE too much, which kind of prevents us from prioritizing the NI issue. Okay, next. TE. Who's been writing the TE? Well, the problem is that seventh slot FI means that we don't know what we want around here, or I don't know what I want around here, and thus it's hard to say what the most efficient way to get there is. Now, I, my initial notion of TE was make a big pile of videos. Well, that's not very good TE. That's kind of bad TE, in fact. But 
it did it did accomplish my goal, I guess, of of gaining legitimacy. Now, from that point forward, if I want to really have good to eat, that means I, it's going to need to convert into big stats on multiple vectors, including money. How can I do that? Well, I mean, I think it boils down to doing less. More NI, more TE. Who's doing the, this kind of metaphysical work in the company? Nobody. Me, I guess, or Sue? Susie. Yeah, I mean, Susie's oh, doing yeah. the TE. Wants to talk to you. Susie's doing super TI. TE. Su Susie's TE is fuck. But look, Susie's TE, incidentally, the way that talking with famous people is a good name for a channel, incidentally. I've come up with shitloads of titles for videos, some of them are good, some of them are bad, blah, 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 blah. So does TE kind of incidentally in the same fashion. Now the nice thing is, if you're really, really, really strong in your dominant function, like I am in NE and she is in TI, then you're also really strong in your ignoring function. But it doesn't change the fact that you never think to look at it when you should. I mean, it just, you're ignoring it. That's the thing. It's standing there going, hello, waving his hand at you, and you're just ignoring it. You're just not noticing it. So, anyway, um, Susie's bringing a TE. No, she's a, not a TE user, but she's our main TE. Like, like, um, I think Katie's a little offended. Like, well, Susie's bringing a TE. Well, yeah, Susie is bringing a TE. Keep in mind, she's a fucking INTP. She doesn't have TE in the conscious function step. She, we're, that's how low. That's how little to eat there is around here. Susie's ignoring function is considered the pinnacle of good to eat. Wait, I'm through. I'm alright at TE. You're alright at it, but the thing I is, have fun I'll have fun with T E, but like too much of it is like no. It's draining. Mm. That's what it does. It is well, fucking there's been too much goddamn TE lately. Right, well, TE is best when it's conjoined with SI. TE is hardest when it's conjoined with anything else. For me, anyway, because SI is my... I know why that is. Oh, shit, that's interesting. Well, because where do you get your goals from? You see, you just get them from FI. What you feel like you want to accomplish. But I don't... So, I'm just saying... T is best when it goes with SI because then what? Then I don't have to think about what my goals are from FI perspective. And that's why my T is so... Because I don't want to know the best way to accomplish something in steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because step 2, I may change, change my plan entirely. So why put a lot of energy into figuring out how to execute the plan knowing that the plan may change? And that's why NE and TE run afoul with each other. Uh, unless... You are very clear on what your goal is. So, yeah, ENFP is going to have pretty strong TE, but it's only going to be the metaphysical aspect of it. It's only going to be um, about knowing their goal and having a, a general sense of how to move in that direction more or less effectively. It's not going to be situational physical TE, Remembering to move shit out of the way because they don't have TI as, as a meaningfully present function. And so, just like they're going to, I'd say TE goes best with SI, they're going to go, um, they're going to say naturally that FI is, is the leader and TE is providing the support in that capacity, and it's also providing the overarching purpose. Anyway, um, now we go down two more, uh, this is a long ass video. Um, right, FI, who knows, I don't even know, FI, we talk about FI, FI a lot. My FI is angry, it just got angry right now. Uh, or FI is angry. And is it angry at me? Not, no, it's fucking angry at people. Like, I have very little patience left to give a fuck about what anybody else thinks. I don't give a fuck about any of you. 
fuck all you, except for like my TWFP people, because that's become my family. Right. Fuck every single one of you. Go fuck off. That's that's my FI. Keep in mind, friends, that her fuck off, though, though directed towards people through this medium, oh, they know was not they directed are. towards the people who actually are going to watch this video. Just, I understand that the, the, the fuck you is supposed to be metaphysically transferred via you to other people in some fashion. Just don't worry about it. It happens automatically. Anyway, um, the, the last function is SE, follow through. Well, again, follow through links in with either SI, follow through on what you know already makes yourself feel good and comfortable, or follow through on that which has been planned, TE. It doesn't go well with TI at all. So when you have an e, it's like ESTPs, they got SE, TI. Um, I don't know, because I, in an ideal world, they would carefully make a decision using TI and FE um, about the course of action to take, but TI and FE aren't good enough to provide you a good course of action. You also need NI in the mix, and they have it in their fourth slot, and it's weak for them. And so, as a consequence, well, I mean, they treat they treat NI. under normal circumstances, like I treat SI under normal circumstances, which is pretty shabbily. It's not something that I'm attending to adequately, you know? There's the landlady. There. Oh. Okay. Alright, so that's it for this video.